Hello, Jamie here from Inky and Scrappy, sharing with you today card two in my stamp set series featuring Lawn Fawn's just plain awesome stamp set. I colored these images in episode one, or I showed how I colored one of them in episode one. So if you're interested in the no line alcohol ink coloring, you can go back and check out episode one. So I kind of wanted to do it in a storyboard kind of card. So you kind of have first, second, third. And so to do that, I'm bringing in these tags that I cut out from the Simple Stories, Simple Vintage Modern Bloom, I think that's what it's called, paper pack. And so I thought they would work well for my story, you know, so each tag kind of has one little scene on it. Granted, you could probably have done, you know, a A2 card front with like one tag and maybe made the story work that way. I don't know. But this is what I ended up coming up with. And then because that pattern paper doesn't have that blue tone that I used in my coloring, I wanted to use that as my background here and kind of pull it into the images or pull the images into the scene color wise to kind of give it a little bit more cohesion. And I was kind of going for, uh, I want to say mixed media, but I really didn't use any other mixed media on this one. I wanted a collage feel or effect to the whole card as a whole. And so I liked my background paper with the swirls and it really bringing in, I love sentiment, or not sentiment, I love word stamps. So I brought that in. I wasn't overly impressed with, it kind of blended into that blue background a little more than I would have liked. Maybe if I'd have stamped it with white or even a darker gray, so it would have maybe stuck out a little bit more. I probably would have liked that better. But I did bring in the air, two of the airplane stamps from the stamp set to kind of give me a little bit, a, a little bit tying into those images. And then I'm going to bring in that swirly heart one. You can't see it, so I abandoned ship on that one. And then I brought in the heroes, hero arts, hero hues in, I think it's Yeti. Don't quote me on that one. It's their white pigment ink. Unicorn? Maybe it's unicorn ink. And then I did add some of those trails. Now, granted, most of this is going to get covered up anyways. So I really was just kind of plain. But you can see a little bit. So you see the airplanes and maybe the swirls here and there and possibly a heart there and there. So I did try to concentrate certain things around the edges a little bit more because I knew you might see those a little bit more once the card was put together. So for my little tags, I wanted them to be scenes. So I'm going to add some subtle hints to make them a scene. I know they're pattern paper and they're a collage style look. I think that's why I fell in love with them. They're just pretty. They're soft. They're, you know, just, I love that color combo, that soft purple and the softer tealy color. It's just, or aqua, whatever it is. I like it. So I'm just bringing in a cloud stencil. I think this one is the MFT, like puffy clouds, maybe. And then of course, I'm going to bring in that hill stencil from simple hill stencil from Lawn Fawn. And then I'm going to add a little hill to the bottom of two of my scenes here. I'm using just plain distress, not distress, plain dye ink from close to my heart. So I think I used petal and I want to say lagoon maybe for the other one. I'm not positive. I'll we'll see at the end when I look at the pictures. So I'm just going to build my seeds. I'm kind of making it fairly simple. Nothing that to, you know, over the top. A couple of, you know, the one mouse building all the airplanes. So he's got his first one and then he's working on his bigger one. And here he is getting ready to throw that bigger one. And then of course he forgot to let go. And so he is flying through the sky. And of course, we can't go straight. We have to go upside down. That's just kind of how it works, right? So I'm going to add the little swirly onto the back here to show that he was doing flips. 
how he ended up upside down in the sky with his little paper airplane. And then I did add a little bit. I was going to do some ink blending on the outside to just darken it. My black was not dry yet. It was Versafine Onyx Black. I probably could have heat set it and it would have dried. So instead, I'm just using the old method of doing some inking around the edge there. It's one of my favorite old time. I don't know. It's just fast. It's kind of messy. It's not perfect, but it adds a little bit of interest to the edges. And then I just need to twerk on layout here. So I want them, I don't want them straight on. I don't want all a straight line. I want them a little bit askew here and there. Now, for my strings, I did cut the holes for the strings because obviously they're tags. I probably should have strung them before I glued them onto my card base. I thought I left enough room on them to fit the strings there and it didn't work. But I make it work in the end. It's all good. So I'm going to start with my middle one, making sure that I get most of it, you know, where I want it. I'm also going to pop up that middle one just so I can tuck the other ones kind of in a little bit. So I'm just using a piece of fun foam for that one. And then I'm going to add, oh, those butterflies were so pretty. Anyways, back to the card. I'm going to add my other two on top as well. And then tuck that one in. So I'm trying to figure out my sentiment now. I know that I kind of want that sentiment to come in over that one head. I just didn't like any of the ones that came with the stamp set. And so I'm, I had just picked up this new simple, I think they're simple strips from Tailored Expressions. So you stamp the whole block. It stamps them all out. I did pre-treat my paper with some anti-static powder and then covering this with some clear embossing powder to give it that raised embossed look on top of it. So this is, again, that VersaFine Onyx Black. And then I will heat set that. And then it has a coordinating die. So you see those little three black triangle or squares on each side. You line it up to those little squares with this one is I want to say it's the skewed one so it's not it doesn't have the flags they're kind of here and there and so I'm taking parts of them because I liked some of them but I knew what I kind of wanted it to say so I kind of decided I was just going to make my own sentiment from you know the the whole list there and I will go from there because I liked this uplifting one And then I'm going to spread these out throughout the front of the card. So then it says, you make our friendship uplifting. And maybe I should have done them in a purple. I think that's what, I, you know, when you're looking at a card after it's done, like what you would have done differently. I think that's what I would have done differently. I probably would have done purple sentiments instead of the blue ones. Yeah. It is what it is. Just because I think it needed a little bit more purple on it. I don't know. The blue kind of blends in a little bit too much with the background for me. What are your thoughts? You know. I just usually go with whatever. I'm not going to go and change it. It's it's just a card. I'll get over it. I am bringing in some lawn trimmings for this one. It is, um, I don't remember. It's a sparkle one. Mermaid sparkle? I think mermaid sparkle. Mermaid sparkle? Hmm. I'll list it down below. It's pretty though. It's got the same blues and teals and purples in it. It's probably going to stay on my desk for a little while because I've been using these colors a lot anyways, and so it'll go well. Yes, and this is where I, the one hole was not, all the way closed and so I had to modify what I was planning to get my little strings to fit. So I'm bringing in a tiny attacher. This one is my close to my heart one. I think it's similar to the Tim Holtz one. I'm not exactly sure because I don't have the Tim Holtz one. When I run out of staples I will be trying them with that one. 
we'll find out. I'm bringing in some gems from Trinity Stamps here. These ones are the, I think that's the Twilight sequence. So they have those purples and blues, and then the white ones kind of have the bluish reflection to them. And so I'm just adding a few onto each of these. And then that middle one, I didn't feel needed three. I only put two on that one. And so I'm happy with how it looks. I will add this onto a card base. Just using glue to add it. And I was kind of leery to use the glue just because it's super thin pattern paper on the background there. It's kind of heavy copy paper maybe in weight. It's a very old lawn fawn pattern paper. So it did work okay. It didn't warp. I was kind of afraid of it warping. So, and then on the inside, I'm just using one of those strips again that says, what's up friend. And then I'm bringing in that last image that I had colored with the little one mouse and another little mouse. I just thought it was kind of cute. And then I'm going to stamp another little swirly pattern behind there just to finish up my card so it brings it into the front so you make our friendship uplifting and then what's up friend so that is my finished card for today i hope you have an amazing rest of the day bye